Being in my first Broadway show is mind-blowing. It's crazy, it's exciting. It's a complete dream come true. Like I'm living proof that since I was seven years old that if you want something bad enough and if you're patient, it will come to you. And I'm so excited to see how the show turns out. took my sister and I on our big New York trip when I was like four and we ended up going to see cats and I was mesmerized by Victoria the white cat. And I remember at the end of the musical the all the cats run around the audience and Victoria touched my head and I was uh, Victoria for Halloween for like four years or on a random Tuesday after school. Ever since then I kind of knew that this is what I wanted to do. What were you looking for when casting the ensemble of women? We were looking for you, baby. <laughs> Catch Me If You Can has been created by the same creators of Hairspray. Hairspray was just magical. It was like the best time ever. From the first performance, we knew that this was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And now I feel like I'm having it again. You do? I'm having the when I think that I might be having a once-in-a-lifetime experience like two times. And I, I don't want to jinx it. It's based on the story of Frank Abagnale, who from 16 to 21 got away with fraud and was on the run from the FBI. And it's just a really fabulous story, and it's a true story. I wrote Catch Me If You Can when I was in my late 20s, so it was 20 some odd years later when it was made into a movie. And then one day Steven Spielberg called me one morning and said, Frank, someone wants to make your movie into a musical on Broadway. I realized this is the Steven Spielberg's of Broadway. This creative team is just, it, they're dynamite. I don't think anything can stop them. Some shows sing and some don't. And it isn't just enough to take a movie script and do it. You actually have to find something that you think you can sing about. Wanted to use the source book for information. Yes. True things that really happen. Right. But the book is not funny. And the movie has wonderful wit. And you wanted to honor the wit and dexterity of the movie. I'm really actually much more excited about the play than I was the movie. Such talented people put their heart and soul into it. And the great, great music. I love the music. The more I hear their lyrics and their songs, the more witty it is, and it's smart, and it's classy, and it's just sharp. There was a cockroach from Brazil, a drunk in his loaf of coffee mill. He thought his time was up until he made coffee a bean. Sometimes I can imagine starting with, you know, a thought that's the beginning of a verse, but he's like, we can't start until we got that title. I have to have a title, and then a long list of words. It's like an embryo. And then from that embryo, we start to potchkey with the lyrics together, and we finish each other's sentences, and I finesse the music then starting around the lyrics that we're writing, and it's just, it's literally like making a baby. Everybody's really, really nice, and they've been really, really welcoming. Because this is my first show ever, so there's a f there's a handful of us that are that are newbies, you know, to this level of the club. I wanted to show what the call board looks like. This is everyone's birthday. It's where you sign in. If anybody gets new pages or the script changes schedule. Yo, my name is Strimmel. It's mad early, yo. I got my coffee. And but it's I walk Friday, yo. Dough. It's Friday. Going to Southern Hospitality, new restaurant opening, free drinks, free food. I want to go. Check Can it. I go? I don't know. I gotta call my hoe and let you know. Yo. That was a good one. That was a good one. Juan Hoyt on the piano. Little yo.
yoga. Look who it is. Good morning. Hello, Good morning. I think people like me. I make them laugh, so that's fun. I like to do that.